Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm Robin. Merry Christmas. I'm Brian, Robin's dad. And I think it's time to reveal what 12 whiskeys we tasted from the 12 Days of Top Shelf Whiskey Advent Calendar. Are you ready? I am ready. And I have the results right here. I'm going to have to put my glasses on. Let's start with whiskey number one. What was whiskey number one? Well, how do you say it? The Balvini 21-year-old Portwood Spiceside Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Mmm. A scotch. Yep, it was a scotch. So I said overall this was delightful and decadent. There was a lot of fruit notes in this. What did you say? Uh... I said it was smooth, and I gave it an 8.5. An 8.5. And um, the reason I didn't give it higher was because it was number one, and I didn't want to <laughs> set my bar too high, you know? Yep, I understand. That's a it great was, one. It was very good. That's a great one. All right. Number two. Number two. Yeah. Blood Oath Pack number six, Kentucky Straight Bur Bourbon Whiskey, finished in cognac barrels. 49.3% wow. ABV. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. So that to me smelled and tasted just like tobacco. Really? Mm-hmm, yeah. I don't have those on my notes, but I have a little stronger than number one. And you gave it an eight. I gave it an eight. Pretty good score. I thought it was pretty good. Ready for the next one? Yeah, whiskey number three. Long grow red Chilean Cabernet. Oh, how do you say that? <laughs> Souvenon. Souvenon. Sauvignon. Sauvignon. Matured 13 year old Campbelltown single malt Scotch whiskey. 51.6% ABV. Wow. This one I didn't like for. Uh, you as didn't well. like, but as you'll notice as you go through, there were some other whiskeys in there, some other scotches from Springbank, and you rated them higher. So I think if you re revisited this one, you would really like it. Uh, yeah. This one was very delicious to me. Um, I said overall it had, it was roasty and wonderful. Um, I will retry that one, Robin. I think you should retry it because you only gave it a six. Right, right. Okay. I know you're not a fan of, of peated whiskeys, so I knew this one was going to be a little iffy. Maybe that's what the problem yeah. was. Yeah. All right. Number four. Barrel Craft Spirits, 16-year-old bourbon. 15. 15? Yep, 15-year-old. 15-year-old bourbon, bottle number 1,537. 52.55% ABV. <laughs> Did you like this one, number four? You know what? I didn't give this a rating. Ah. Uh, I thought it was quite spicy. Okay. And yeah. And I wrote down that it depends on my mood mm. if I would be uh, sipping this one or not. Mm hmm I feel like that's uh, how most of the whiskeys are for you. Depends yeah. on your mood. Yeah. For me, this had really fun aromas and the flavors kept evolving. So I enjoyed it. Good. Yeah. All right. All right, number five. Number five. Red Spot Single Pot Still Irish Whiskey, aged 18, 15. aged 15 years in bourbon barrels, sherry butts, and masala wine casks. 46% ABV. Wow. This one was super light, but really, really tasty. Really? I thought it was strong, but tasty. Strong, but tasty. Yeah. Okay. You gave it a nine. I gave it a nine. I really like that one. That's great. Yeah, an Irish whiskey. Number six. Number six. Tell Sp us what it is. Springbank, 17-year-old Madeira cask matured Campbelltown single malt scotch whiskey. 47.8% ABV. <laughs> you didn't I, write any notes. You just gave it a seven. I gave it a seven. I must have been in a hurry that day. You gave it a seven. That's a pretty complacent uh, score there, Dad. You know, you don't like sevens. You think that's middle of the road. It is middle of the road. I think I that's what it was to me, a middle of the road, I think. For me, this had tons of roastiness and tons of fruit flavors. Hmm. Maybe it's just not my 
my thing. I love everything that comes from Springbank. So, yeah. yep. All right. Number seven. Number seven. Garrison Brothers, Balmora, Texas Straight Bourbon Whiskey. 57.5% ABV. We had that the other day. We had that the same day as we tasted it. Oh. Isn't and that funny? Yeah. I remember it after you had mentioned it. I said it's very strong, mm -hmm. but it's very good. And I gave it a nine. Yeah, I thought it had super rich flavors. Yeah. Lots of rich flavors. Yeah, I thought that was really good. Number eight. Long Grow 18-year-old Campbelltown single malt scotch whiskey. 46% uh, ABV. Another scotch. Another scotch. And look, number three was also a Long Grow. Wow. And they're produced by the same distillery as Springbank. It's the Springbank distillery, which was number six. But they're different ones. They're different expressions. Okay. Yeah, Long Grow is their heavily peated double pot distilled single malt scotch. Now, you know how I'm not great at this, but in parentheses, I put scotch with a question mark. Yeah. I kind of figured it was a scotch. But I think you're warming up to peated scotches because you gave that one an eight. That was a good one. I don't know why. <laughs> I think you just got used to that. I can't remember. I didn't uh, make good notes. Well, this was really sweet and roasty and smoky and lovely. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. That's what I put down. Okay. Number, Number nine. nine. Teeling Stout Cask Irish Whiskey, Spirits and Spice Cask, 43%. Mm -hmm. 43% ABV. Number nine. I know what you gave number nine. I know what I did too, because I just looked at my mm -hmm. notes. That was the one that tasted like lemon meringue. Yep. Or it smelled like it, I don't know which one. Yep. But, and I gave that a 10, my first 10. Yep, you did. I, I said like this was very delicate, yet very flavorful. I thought it was, obviously, I thought it was very good. 10 yeah. out of 10. Yeah, 10 out of 10. So Christian. this was an exclusive bottling for Spirits and Spice, the liquor store in Sedona, Arizona. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. cool. Yep. All right, number 10. Number 10. Elijah Craig. 18-year-old single barrel Kentucky Street bourbon whiskey, barrel number 4138. 46%? 45% ABV. The 45? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. I like that one too. Yeah, yeah. I gave that a nine. A nine. Yeah, this one is very chocolatey and delicious. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Yep. Ready Num for number 11? Number 11. Oh boy, you're gonna have to say that. Brook Lottie. Brook Lottie, Black Art, 1992, 24 year old, unpeated. Isla Isla. 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 Isla, single malt scotch whiskey. Oh. 48.4% ABV. And I did like that one. I gave it a 9.5. You gave it a 9.5. Do you remember where you had this one before? Where? This was after I defended my PhD. We opened up this bottle. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. I remember that. Yeah, so this was super fruity and spicy and absolutely delicious. Mm-hmm, very good. What did I say for number 12? Number 12 is High West, a midwinter night's dream Dram. blend of straight rye whiskeys finished in French oak port barrels. Act 8, scene 4. 49.3%. Yeah. I gave that a 10. You gave that a 10. I gave a rye a 10. This one is just straight up Christmas. Tastes like Christmas. That's why I saved wow. it for number 12. How about that? How about that? I learn something every time I do one of these things. I learned that I like some scotches. Yep that I actually liked rye, which I don't think I do. I, I mean, obviously you do. But these are top shelf. These are top shelf whiskeys. These are the best. Yeah. Well, thank you, Robin. Yeah. I'm gonna do it next year. And I hope a lot of more people do. I hope so too. Yeah. So if you didn't get to participate this year, there's always next year. Yep. All right, okay. happy holidays, everyone. Happy holidays. <laughs>